Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And all that getting, get understanding, said King Solomon. The Bible knows the great importance of wisdom in achieving outstanding success. Hence, it declared that wisdom is the principal thing. The new international version of the Bible puts it as wisdom is supreme. Therefore, get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. Wisdom is good sense and judgment, based especially on your experience of life, amount of knowledge gained over period of time through learning or experience. Wisdom is the principal ingredient and the supreme component needed in cooking sauces that is outstanding in all aspects. The supremacy of wisdom is undisputable as great men that have made great accomplishments in the past are and distributed major parts of their sources to wisdom. Get the principal thing so that you can make remarkable sources here on heart. Besides, wisdom is even inevitable in living a meaningful life. King Solomon has been acknowledged as the wisest person ever lived. He made great achievements which his wisdom largely contributed to. Then, he proposed that wisdom is better than strength. Wisdom is better than power and energy. Every outstanding impact made on this planet has been attributed to wisdom. King Solomon also put forward that wisdom is better than the weapons of war. This is against the possible expectation of many warriors and other people that are fighting for great sources. The only medicine for suffering, crime, and all the other woes of mankind is wisdom, explained Thomas Huxley. Beyond strength and weapons of war, you need wisdom to excel in life. If you are not wise, you cannot rise. A man cannot rise beyond the level of his wisdom. An ordinary man without any special wisdom cannot make any extraordinary achievement. What he can make is just an ordinary impact that corresponds to the level of his wisdom. Beware, to be successful is to be wise. The Bible is very clear on this when it presented that a man shall be commended according to his wisdom. It is not according to his strength, power, or energy, but according to his wisdom. A man is praised not according to his educational qualifications, political influence, fame, or popularity, but according to the level of his wisdom. If you want to rise, To greater heights, try to be wise. Charles Colton asserted that the follies of the fool are known to the world, but are hidden from himself. The follies of the wise are known to himself, but hidden from the world. Are your follies hidden from the world and known to you? If not, be wise. A wise man has great power, and a man of knowledge increases strength. The level of your wisdom will give you the needed strength to explore a sources that is outstanding. Apostle Paul warned, Wherefore, be ye not unwise. If you must explore unbeatable sources, you must not be unwise. Self-reflection is a school of wisdom. Express Bhattasura Gracian. Wisdom is knowing when to speak your mind 
and when to mind your speech. The wisdom that is capable of exploring great sources cannot come or be achieved from man. Be not wise in your own conceits, preached Apostle Paul, claiming to be wise within yourself. When you are not, we will not bring out any outstanding sources. The doorstep to the temple of wisdom is knowledge of our own ignorance, revealed Charles Spurgeon. Know your limit and ask God for wisdom to excel. The Bible confirms the fact that wisdom is not from man, for the Lord gives wisdom in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. The wisest King Solomon did not depend upon his own wisdom. He asked God for wisdom and understanding. Ask God for wisdom that we guarantee your sources. God is ever ready to give wisdom to as many that ask him. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, and it will be given to him. You can gain much knowledge on your own, but true wisdom comes only from God. He is truly wise who submits to God. Wisdom. Trust him for wisdom to excel in life. He will not disappoint you. Wisdom is a principal instrument for exploring sources. God gives wisdom freely to those who ask. Without wisdom, there may not be access to sources. Solomon gave the summary as, If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. If you are not wise, your wisdom you will not reward you. In other words, in order not to shift yourself and place the unnecessary limitations on your life, be wise. Be wise and get a reward of outstanding sources. In life, all good things come hard, but wisdom is the hardest to come by, confirmed Lucille Ball. Knowledge comes, but wisdom lingers, revealed Alfred called Kennedy. Be wise and get a reward of outstanding sources. Thank you and God bless.